are the peace in my troubled sea. another Bogner Regis Salvation Army Messy Church video. Messy packs would have gone out this week and in them are all the stuff you'll need to do the crafts in this video. If you'd like a craft pack then please contact us either via Facebook or email. This month we're doing the story of Ruth who has her very own book in the Bible. As you hear the story have a think about where you see yourself in the story and also think if you could do what Ruth did. There was a lady called Naomi. She had two sons called Marlon and Kilion. But because times were rough and her sons didn't have any work, they all travelled to another country far away. In that country, the sons met some women. One was called Orpah and the other was called Ruth. They then married Naomi's two sons. Oh, you've picked up speed now, Doreen. Very impressive. A plant can represent life and growth, just as Naomi's family grew when her sons married. I love this plant pot that Doreen's put together, with each lolly stick a different colour. It looks really lovely and bright, doesn't it? Do you think you can do this? However, both sons died and Naomi decided to go back to her home country. She told her two daughter-in-laws what she was going to do. And one of them, called Ruth, promised she would stay with her wherever she went and said to her, Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Naomi and Ruth travelled back to Naomi's country and Ruth looked for work. Ruth had moved away from her family and everyone she knew. In fact, she didn't really speak the language or know much about the culture. Do you know anyone who's far away from their family or doesn't have any family? Maybe you could make some flowers for them like Claire's doing here. Now it was that time of year where farmers were harvesting their barley crops. They used to use big knives to cut off the heads of the barley and because of this bits of barley fell to the ground. Ruth was allowed to follow those harvesting the barley and pick up the pieces that had fallen to the ground. She began working on a farm owned by a man called Boaz. One day Boaz noticed Ruth and told his harvester to leave a bit of barley behind as they went, so she would have enough to take home to Naomi. I must admit, I'm not sure at this point what Thea's making. Now, there's lots of pegs, but I think they're just to keep the two plates stuck together. So I don't think they're anything to do with it. Oh, and now she's colouring in flowers. Hmm, I wonder what she's making. Have you worked it out yet? I think I might have got it now. I think that would be quite handy for the next time I get to go out shopping. Am I right, Thea? 
I wonder how Ruth took home the barley and how they would have stored it. Do you think she might have used a lovely bag like Thea's making here? You never know. Boaz was related to Naomi and was called their family redeemer. This meant if anyone could rescue Naomi and Ruth, it was Boaz. We all have a family redeemer. His name is Jesus. We will learn more about Jesus next month at Easter, how he died for us on the cross and came back to life. After a while, Ruth and Boaz were married. Because Boaz was able to look after both Naomi and Ruth, they were cared for for the rest of their life. And Ruth was welcomed into her new family. Oh, Kelly looks like she's making a really nice frame. Do you know who she's going to put in there? That's her lovely nephew. We take photos so we have memories of people and moments, don't we? Is there a special person, like Kelly's chosen her nephew? Or perhaps a moment you have that you want to put in your frame that you make? Now, as we heard, Ruth didn't know anyone apart from Naomi, yet she found a new family that welcomed her with open arms, just as Jesus does with us when he welcomes us into his family. We hope you enjoyed the video and the crafts and the story. We will now have our prayer. Do join in and don't forget the Amen at the end. Father, thank you for families, for those we love and for those who love us. Thank you for inviting us to be part of your family. Thank you, we can belong to your family. Amen.